hello and welcome everyone thank you for joining today's webinar my name is nikita devre i am a digital marketing executive at crave infotech before we getting started i am going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker firstly if you wish to ask any question to presenter we have q and a section and chat feature enabled we will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar we invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen we will have q and a session and at the end of the webinar to answer your questions now i would like to welcome murli and melin we are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar how to enable intelligent warehouse management with sap rfid and barcode enablement Murli is a sales and operations director at Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Milind with, uh, with us. He is enterprise application director at Crave Infotech. with 17 plus years of industry experience in core sap ecc and s4 hana p2p uh, ewm uh, delivery project management and solution architect uh, now uh, without further ado i would hand over to murli to start with the presentation over to you murli so thank you nikita thanks for the uh, intro um and good morning good evening good afternoon to all wherever you are because people are joining from different time zones um first of all thank you very much for joining today's webinar and as mentioned by nikita we'll be demonstrating our um, uh, intelligent warehouse solution um in today's webinar so before uh, jumping on the subject i just wanted quickly to take you through about my organization who we are what we do so it will help us to align uh, understand and align for uh, next interaction with you so this is about our organization crave infotech um uh, our journey we started in 2007 last 13 years right from our inception we are closely associated with sap uh, started uh, working along with sap in 2008 then uh, we uh, became sap global pe uh, partner uh, in 2014 expanded globally in 2015 and then we came up with our pre packaged solutions uh, which we call as a digital transformation solutions which we have almost 40 plus solutions uh, today uh, on sap app center so we we did do uh, did that uh, started the solution in 2016 and then um, in the journey from 16 to 21 we also won certain prestigious awards um, Uh, SAP S Award, SAP War um, um, uh, Award, and so on. So today we have almost forty uh, plus solutions on SAP App Center, uh, which directly get integrated with SAP uh, in a various areas. So I will brief about Crave solutions before just. uh talking about the crave uh, portfolio i just wanted to take you through the interesting um research by mckenzie wherein they say that more than 70% of the organizations when they try to build their solutions their own they fail and that only 30% or lower than that they are successful um, so the, of course the uh, it's but natural the reasons are um since that is not the core business of the organizations when they try to do the software solution for their own activity it end up with the expensive team management cost and very low roi then high deployment time of course because you do not have that specialized people in the organization then standardize it, it lacks with the standardization and difficult to upgrade when we want to upgrade to uh, from future point of view um and uh, of course along with that uh, high cost of maintenance high downtime these are typical you know um, 
issues we observe at market base when organization try to build and against that when you buy from the uh, specialized organization like crave um, so naturally there there will be more than 75% almost lower uh, total cost of ownership tco come down by 75% reduce deployment time by almost 80% and these are certain um, percentages derive from some of the projects we have delivered of course we come up with the industry 4.0 5.0 uh, our exposure and expertise uh, based on our various projects serving for different customers in different industries then we also take care of all compliances when we uh, cater to solutions so this is just some brief about the organization we'll talk about overview of the organization we have 15 plus years of experience 50 plus prepackaged solutions we have and if you look at right hand side uh, the our partners we are partnered with sap we are also isv and reseller of zebra which is a global mobile computing devices manufacturer we are also isv and uh, reseller of hair technologies amazon and so on and we also have needful certifications from the quality processes and uh, deliverables point of view and the awards which i discuss we have mentioned over here so coming to our focused portfolio and focused vertical um, in the digital offerings if you look at we have uh, these are five portfolios or five focused verticals intelligent asset management wherein we have complete end-to-end -end, uh, solutions in asset management acp em portfolio we have our own uh, crave maintenance mobile apps in calibration breakdown preventive and facility and i'll uh, brief you complete portfolio i'm just covering it very quickly intelligent warehouse management which is uh, and digital supply chain there we have complete portfolio um intelligent e-log book and intelligent enterprise in inter intelligent enterprise services this is the sap space um, wherein we have we provide the all services in sap space sap s for hana cloud platform ecc ui ux sap business one and all so here we uh, help implementation customization migration and support so we as i mentioned we have products as well as services the product space is warehouse management supply chain asset management logbook uh, btp business technology platform and uh, service in services as i mentioned we provide all services in sap area so this is the complete portfolio of the organization and you will see that we are touching almost every functionality of the organization it starts from the complete asset management uh, various activities in asset management then supply chain like warehouse uh, direct store delivery um, supplier digital connect it's a vendor uh, portal then connected assets and iot in which through which we do the uh, help uh, cold regulatory compliance telematics geo enablement route optimization and so on and we also have approvals platform um, management dashboard platform then uh, order to cash in order to cash we cover the salesforce automation digital customer network so uh, like vendor side automation we have, have customer side automation as well so this is the complete portfolio of the organization um, and these are some of the customers uh, we are working in uh, predominantly in life science utility oil and gas manufacturing cpg and there are multiple customers uh, global as well as national leaders um, to our credit so this is about in short about the organization i'll take um, you through now about today's agenda of intelligent warehouse so um, the need of warehouse uh, uh, management uh, automation mainly in a uh, this crisis time of uh, covid 19 okay so we will discuss that first then warehouse automation to gain efficiencies cut cost and scale operations so how we can do that then um, 
what are all offerings of warehouse today then we will take you through the demo coming to uh, intelligent warehouse uh, we observe that um, uh, warehouse crisis management uh, unprecedented pressure from uh, covid 19 disruption okay these are the certain challenges and expectations of the customer like you in today's um, uh, scenario so warehouse is now one of the most critical part and we all know earlier scenario and today's scenario because there are all pressures on timely deliveries and customer satisfaction so earlier it was neglected as back office to supply chain engine but now it is one of the most critical part um it they are recognized as a key people now today warehouse people and then so warehouses are more busier even every country strive to keep food products pharma and in in especially in this pandemic and essential household goods uh, they need to be widely available and that is the um, a, a critical thing which warehouses need to cater to so these are the certain challenges and expectations at marketplace some common challenges are redundant procedure with time consuming labor task that we all know that um, normally what we have observed that um, the processes and manual task they uh, lead to inefficient time management and where uh, of warehouse workforce then inaccuracy and inefficiency in handling inventory and we all also going through this challenge because normally not matching of system inventory and physical inventory not having fifo uh, inaccurate inventory causes problems such as maintaining improper stock levels built ups of absolute inventory so all these are the uh, challenges we are observing in day to day operation then difficult to manage stocking and picking orders with diverse product portfolio and when you have multiple SKUs, we are observing this challenge day to day when we have all manual operation in place then high labor cost leading to increased uh, so, sorry it is just me high labor cost is leading to decreased bottom line and these are the technology challenges we are seeing that uh, technologies are phasing out right tech console its mobile is phasing out windows is phasing out 3g wireless technology is phasing out so the expectations are different customers are looking for mobilizing em and supply chain processes we need a lot of mobilization there then software solutions are not validated by hardware vendors these are again typical challenge because when we talk about uh, mobile solution or complete automation there are a lot of hard handled devices need to be used right there are multiple vendors or um, manufacturers offering hardware and these hardwares are not validated softwares are not validated by hardware vendors so and managing multiple vendors for hardware and software that is another big problem today so again um the uh, coming to the challenges and expectations customer expectations outside the warehouse demand more so pressure is increase inside the warehouse to um, process more and that is natural expectation order volume is at all high time so uh, all time higher so if, and we are observing that the orders are all time high and uh, it is difficult to manage in um, uh, hours and picking accuracy is vital so these again uh, we, we are all going through these challenges and what is important is uh, tracking of the activity visibility of the uh, entire seen at warehouse accurate inventory that is very important and profitable omni channel so creating profitable omni channel operational is very critical today and we will show you how we can do this with a creo solution so coming to the today's solution and before we start the uh, 
about the complete solution uh, process flow case studies and the demo i just wanted to share this one slide which is we have with permission of zebra we are showing it it is from their um, ppt in which you can see there are three circles right the inner circle uh, then there is another circle and so it it shows the complete maturity model of uh, warehouse management uh, so in an inner circle normally we, we what we do is um, you have warehouse management system which is um, uh, coupled with barcode variable voice sensors locations intelligent automation this is normally the first step and then we from here we drive to worker driven transactional data analyze it sensor driven real time data and then we optimize control and optimization gain basic control of business operations optimize use of mobility so this is the next last step so uh, the, what we have observed the organizations today they are still in first and first two circles of the operations and the journey to third circle is actually the mature model of warehouse management um, with this um, then of course uh, we will come to our solution uh, the sea warehouse um, all the features as i mentioned there is uh, um, the the benefits uh, we have almost 56 uh, plus warehouse processes available out of box then the solution is flexible configurable uh, integration with sap as well as non sap uh, erp is possible sap when we say sap because mainly we are working closely with sap as a sap partner but our solution also integrates with non sap erps as well then uh, quick UI transition through dynamic UI configurator. You can see that and uh, transition in just certain weeks. Of course, it depends on what standard uh, standard standardization of processes you implement in your warehouse. So these are again certain benefits. It's 100% paperless process, uh, reduction in to, uh, total cost of ownership. Uh, lower warehouse operating cost and um, less labor cost per unit handled and these are certain derived from uh, certain case studies so, and uh, my colleague Milin will brief you about the solution and a couple of uh, success stories of the organization so with this uh, i will hand over this to Milin. Uh, Milin, over to you yes thank you thank you murli and uh, nikita for providing me this great opportunity so uh, i will be sharing my screen hope you are uh, able to see my screen right yeah, yes, yeah we, we can, can we can see your screen right? okay so uh, Basically, uh, what I'm going to show you a demo of what is our solution. And before that, a uh, couple of information I would like to give you. So the left hand side, uh, you will find our mobile application solutions. So these are the mobile devices uh, where we have implemented to our customers. So I'm going to show you uh, how it looks like in actual applications. And these are basically your, the, your processes like production warehousing, inbound, outbound, your internal processes like cycle counting, etc. And this is our solution, the storage and operation, distribution warehousing. So we have all and sundry kind of, uh, uh, you know, test cases and we have a solution for all so no matter whether your uh, system is in ecc if it uh, inventory management or wm or whether you have s4 hana implementation with wm or awm or s4 hana on cloud platform with embedded so we have a solution for apps and our apps is compatible with all site survey and network wi-fi is assessment is one of our you know the competency because when we implemented uh, our apps to the customer premises we got a complaint that the app is not workable but when we uh, you know so visited the site we found that there are some interference with the other network link so uh, we have given a solution for that voice activated order pickings and hand free pickings are another uh, you know uh, the feature of our apps 
so nowadays you will find that there are voice picking voice picking as well as uh, you have the you don't have to you know uh, hold your handheld device on hand so there is a special kind of handheld device whereby you can tie that on your palms or uh, hands and just within the fingertips you will be able to perform the operations uh, we have the barcode integrations qr code integration forklift integration we can mount the rfid on the forklift and by scanning uh, we can perform the operation so these are our the competencies uh, the next slide talk about our success stories so in one of the customers which is presence is all over the world globally uh, 19 countries with 39 locations uh, so we have implemented successfully the uh, our uh, intelligent warehouse management solutions uh, through our apps and these are the zebra device we uh, uh, implemented we adopted uh, and then success stories uh, you know there's a proof of the success stories 100 percent paperless and 30 percent increase in productivity we found that the 80 percent uh, production tcos as well as the 80 percent efficiency in the following those jobs so these are the success stories. In India, one of the major pharmaceutical company, we implemented uh, a warehouse management module with our customs apps, uh, specifically the uh, spare part store. So more than 2000 spare part stores and our apps uh, integrated with the warehouse management uh, solutions, uh, the custom solutions and the user friendly uh, handheld device. So with this, uh, I would like to take you through the uh, quick demo. And then uh, to just to uh, give you the feel that how our apps work. Let me share my screen. Okay. So this is basically uh, our apps look like. So this is uh, what we call it as a Fury, Fury launch pack. So this is, uh, these are basically our, uh, uh, what we call it as a Fury factory. You name the modules and we have the apps designed for that. As Murli explained, we have 50 plus apps built uh, to address the customer solution. So if it is supply chain management, then we have this many apps. If you have enterprise asset management, C approval, you name the modules and we have the apps. Or even though if the apps is not present, we can customize as per the business need. So uh, now if you are talking about the warehouse, which is the area of our interest, if you consider the warehouse, then it can be a, it could be an inventory management or the WMS. So these are the apps. So if we click on the inventory management, then uh, we'll get all the uh, you know offering uh, uh, like typical warehouse. We have inbound, outbound, physical inventory, and internal transfer. So warehouse operator will get this kind of screen. So he doesn't have to remember the complex uh, transaction code in SAP or business one, MA21N and MIGOs and et cetera. So all will, all will go away. So he has to just inbound, outbound, physical, internal transport. He want to go to inbound process then he will just click inbound process and this many choice he has. So major advantage is he doesn't have to remember the transaction code. So good receipt. Now, again, the good receive, if you see the SAP screens or any, uh, you know, uh, uh, for example, if you have the Oracle ERP or SAP, then the screen is very complicated. But here in our app, we have the choice, purchase order. You want to perform the good receipt with reference to purchase order or with referring to inbound delivery. So we have the, uh, you know, solution for that. So this is how our app looks like, okay? It has a 101 moment, it comes uh, by default. And just you have to give the uh, date range, okay? And in that date range, the purchase order due for good receipts will automatically show. Okay, so this is the date range, suppose. And if I search it, I will get everything, all the purchase order lying in that date range C. And in a purchase order, how many line items are there, you can get. So we don't have to go to the systems and terminals and then uh, use our complex process. Just you will get a list of purchase order. You will get how many items are there. Just click on the purchase order, then enter the delivery notes, OKs, and that's it. 
the good receipt will be posted. So in detail process, I will show you in a couple of minutes. So this is just a glance of how our apps look like. Uh, so no matter if it is put, and, and this is an inventory management. If you do not have the warehouse management, no problem. Inventory management, we have the solutions. Okay. We have outbound process, inbound, this physical inventory, as well as the internal transfer. If you consider the outbound process, then PGI. So here, just you have to give the date range and you will get all the deliveries pending for uh, uh, the PGI. Uh, of course, you can add the quantities, uh, you can adjust the quantity as per uh, uh, the need. Okay. So this is the PGI app for the good issue, see. Delivery number, sales order, then what are the sold to the customer name, everything. You, you, you don't have to go to the systems and then you know select the transaction codes and then enter the quantity. Just click that app and here, here you will get anything. Now you may surprise that why there is no batch number, why there is no uh, any other details. So no problem. As per your wish, as per the business requirement, we can fetch the data and we can display over here. If you want a customer, ship to, sold to, everything we can customize because this app is suits to your business requirement and around 60 to 70 percent it suits your business requirement and remaining we can customize this so you can enter the quantity and that's it so post the good issue will happen now here uh, after that i will explain you the major uh, chunk or you know the major area of business whereby uh, we show the digitalization uh, so let me share my screen once again Yes, as I said, we have the theory factory and we have a couple of apps here, inventory management app and warehouse management. So this is a warehouse management app where we have implemented to one of our customers. So this is the screen. Okay. User has to use his user ID and passwords and login. And here you will get everything it's like inventory management apps I have shown you. So similarly, warehouse management apps. Now, in as the Murli also explains, and I, uh, you know, demonstrated you uh, through our take that we can take uh, the any uh, the screen size. So here uh, you can see this is a Fiori launch pad. However, we can download this to your mobile, your laptop, or your uh, uh, any your your iPad, and this this will take the screen size of that. See, now if you have uh, iPhone. Let's say if you have iPhone, iPhone XR, it will take the shape of iPhones and you can perform all the operations. So warehouse operator doesn't have to go to the warehouse cabin. He has to then take the printout, take the printout labels and go to the area where actual operation is being performed and paste on the pallets. He doesn't have to do anything. Just carry his laptop, or just carry his, uh, you know, mobiles, iPad or uh, in any devices and we can have this uh, you know the weight length adjust as per his choice okay so for the sake of simplicity and presentations i will uh, show everything's on the fiori launch pad printing intelligent printing what i can say that in sap or some other software or uh, you know any other application we have to configure that here we don't have to configure all the good receipts will be displayed over here what you have to do, you have to enter, and this is very user friendly screen. So he has to select the, he doesn't have to select, only he has to enter the good receipts and then just he will get the print to you. See, this is a QR code. Okay. This QR code is looks like this, and it's capture all the information. In addition to that, if you want to capture something extra, yes, we can do that as per your business need. Now, this printing, this printer label is applicable for all your pallets. If you have the pallet size, uh, let's say large pallet size, European pallets or industrial pallets or any other pallet, then same label we can use. See, this is a large size. Okay, if it is a small, we can select small and see, this look like this. So we can customize this as per the user needs. And there is no, no uh, connection between what 
uh, your actual system. This is our application connected to backend SAP. If you want to take the printout, just click on print. That's it. The QR label will print it, and then this good receipt will go away because the label has been printed. Similarly, you can do same thing. Select that and click on print. That's it. So, see, so nothing is pending now. All the good receipts which has been done, the label has been printed. So you can collect it and paste it. No need to go to your warehouse cabin and take the printout. Now, suppose a printer is not, uh, uh, you know, printer is bad or your printout is bad, not in good condition. We have the option of the reprint here. So you can reprint the label. So that's much easier. Now, I am going to put away this. Once the good receipt is done, I will have to put away this into a bin. So click here on put away. See, the GR list is again comes over here. So you have to click on the GR and select the material. Now, I am not using a handheld device. So I am showing you this on my uh, laptop. So, uh, so this is the kind of, uh, you know, the QR label. Suppose this is a label, okay? So I will copy here and assume that the user has scanned this. So you have the scanner. You, do, you, you don't have to enter this manually. You have to scan this. Okay, and then the system will tell you whether you want to scan individual label. Suppose there are four pallets and you want to place everything in one bin. Yes, you can do that. And for that, you have to uh, select the no option. If you want to uh, different bin, then you can select S option like this. And uh, this, okay, so I'm just scanning here, okay. Label has scanned already. So if you wrongly scan something, the system will uh, show you an error. Okay. Now you have another uh, material, let's say. So you can select that, enter here. So everything will go. So you, if you have 10 pallets, you can scan the 10 pallets. And then finally, you can give the bin. So if you can give this bin number. Yes. So this is a put away process. You have scanned multiple pallets. You have select the bin number and you have scanned the bin number and just enter the put away. That's all. Everything will happen in the background. All the transfer order creation or the material document creation or whatever it is. All the operation will be created in the background and see it is created. Okay. So the put away is also possible here. This is very user friendly. Okay. Now, suppose you want to know where exactly my material is because warehouse is a big okay warehouse is a big so you don't know which material is where so what normally you do you go to the system and see the stock here you don't have to do that select this option and you can select uh, material by a qr label or the bin okay so if you want to scan the material then you can scan that You have to scan the material and enter. See, you will get all the material. This is the material name. This is the PO name. All the history. This is the GR number. All the histories will be displayed. Similarly, if you want to go to any particular bin, then there are materials. And if you want to reduce your physical inventory chance, then go to the bin. Just scan the bin. Okay, and you will come to know what are the materials which are there in the bin. Suppose I am scanning the bin. Okay, I have scanned the bin. Enter it. Just this bin contains this material with this storage unit. And what is the quantity? If it is available or not available? Yes, it is available. If it is quarantined or quality, system will tell you this is a quarantine. If this is a block, this is the block. If it is not blocked, then you will come to know that hey, there is a problem. Then you can perform the physical inventory. So this process is also simple. Physical inventory also you can perform. Now the process is very simple. You don't have to select and once the physical inventory is created in the systems, all the lists where the physical inventory has not been performed will be displayed here. You have to just click the physical inventory document, enter the bin number from where you are, uh, uh, you know, uh, what is the bin number of that physical inventory. So here also I'm uh, scanning the bin. this way okay so bin is scanned you can enter the material quantity 
if it is zero stock you can just click here so zero stock will be there so you see zero stock is there and once you confirm this just physical event is done you will get everything so you will get the document number in the background so the physical inventory is also possible through our app good issue against the order good issue against the reservation is also possible so quickly i am going to show you if you have the you know the material which you are issuing to the uh let's say cost center 201 or the scrap you will get all the reservation number here with this reservation also we can customize okay for example if you want to issue the goods to your production order the production order number will be here or the process order number is here if you have the maintenance the maintenance or maintenance uh, order number will be here and then you have to enter those materials and then atoms so that will uh, you know pose the good issue if you want to select the bin if you don't know where exactly the bin you don't have to create the uh, take the pick list uh, for the production or for the customer here we have the number of bin so this material is available in which bins you will get on the flock as a pop up so this material is available in four bins you will get the four if it is material available in five bins you will get the list of five you just have to select it and then complete the operations so this is how the uh, uh, our our apps look like and the major advantage here is uh, you know the uh, paperwork will be less overhead cost is reduces and the major pain area that is increase the turn around time as uh, uh, murli also explained uh, that you don't have to rush to uh, the desktop and then uh, uh, you know come to the bin and perform the operation so this is all about our apps so now the forum is uh, open for question and answer yes nikita uh thank you melan uh, so before moving ahead to q and a uh, i'll be launching the poll questions and i request all the attendees to participate by selecting your response so the poll questions have started uh so the first question is are you facing any challenges in a current warehouse management activity due to manual process uh then uh, second question is are you planning to digitize your current inventory or is would you like to have a detailed discussion with our team for create seed wms solution so i request everyone to answer the poll questions and uh, in the meantime we can move ahead with the uh, q and a session okay so first question uh, we had uh, from manoj you have a mobile solution to access fury apps is that embedded in a handheld so murli sir have answered that question yes we do have and uh, second question we have from aditya can you throw some light on rfid applications yes of course so we do have the rfid uh, so we have implemented our rfid solution so what we can do is see there are two type of rfid active and passive so we can use both so uh, basically depending upon your business process we can suggest the rfid and as explained by the murli sir uh, we have partnership with the zebra as well as the sap so depending upon your business process we will suggest the rfid and uh, uh, yes rfid is uh, definitely uh, important and uh, we have incorporated so based on the uh, your business processes and an rfid whether you have uh, you know cold storage or you know uh, metal storage we will suggest the rfids and our apps will incorporate that okay so uh, we have one question from sarshin uh, in mumbai what are your 3pl locations okay so our company is not a manufacturing company uh, so 3pl uh, warehouses uh, our apps is a boon for them so we do not have the 3pl warehouses but we uh, implement our apps to all the warehouses no matter whether it is 3pl no matter whether it is a distribution warehouse cross dressing warehouse or the production warehouse or the uh, supply chains or uh, any warehouse we can uh, you know implement that so we do not have the 3pl warehouse as such for us it's not belong to us because we are not in the manufacturing industry we are the software uh, provider okay so i think we don't have any further questions 
or uh, if any of your questions are not answered here you can contact us on contact at craveinfotech.com i'm typing uh, the mail address in the chat section and also i'm ending the poll questions so our team will uh, get back to you uh, if you are interested in our application so thank you everyone thank you milin sir thank you molly sir thank so you. Uh, we'll end the session now thank you everyone thank you